Welcome to this section of application to business analytics which talks about drivers of business analytics. Here we are talking about framework for analytics excellence, how to achieve excellence within the analytics domain. That is first stage is to go through your strategy, develop a clear purposeful analytics strategy because strategy is what lasts within an organization for three to five years. We are talking about long term vision long-term objectives that is your strategy hence without uh, a visionary strategy on business analytics you won't be able to uh, get the benefits of the analytics the second one is your capability how much are you capable to run these analytics within uh, a data driven organization retain the right talent and establish a process to support them hence we're not just speaking about technical expertise but the right talent in terms of the right people within your organization to take care or to run or to understand the data within the organization. The third one is tools, the tools which are used to store, record and then extract information and then utilize it for your future decision making. Leverage tools and establish integrated systems to conduct analysis. and then. Iterate, the last one which goes out of the framework is iterate the process. What we are trying to do is modifications, minor edits in order to improve the entire structure. That is refine it, refine it as you find any loopholes or uh, some errors within each stage, be it under strategy, capability or tools. Now drivers of analytical value strategic value creation and efficiency improvement. We'll be discussing these in detail in the further slides. Now, strategic value creation is faster decision making, better quality decisions, capability to take proactive actions. Here we are talking about a very different strategic approach where you have a very faster decision making. We know of how many organizations have lost to uh, not creating a faster decision making process within the organization. Nokia is one such company where they have lost the smartphone race, where they, was the f they, were, they were the first ones to develop a smartphone, but they didn't launch it in time. And hence, now we have different leaders in the market. Better quality decisions. The quality, of course, when we think about quality in the technological sector, we always associate with, with Apple, yes? Apple has a very analytics approach within the organization where they use the data at the best. And the third one is the capability to take proactive actions. That is, you don't just wait for a problem to be there and then solve it. Instead, you try to avoid the problem completely. Prevention is better than cure. So you prevent from the problem, uh, for the problem to happen itself. The next stage we're talking about efficiency improvement, capability enhancement. We already have our existing uh, infrastructure, we have our human resources. So hence, what we are talking about moving or upgrading your infrastructure or resources to the next level, that is capability enhancement, automation, which is very much required in order to record the data. Hence, we create data on day-to-day -day basis as we have mentioned uh, in the previous slides as well. But when we have automation in our processes, in our organization, we don't have to rely on a manual uh, element of process where we record data. Automation does it. Tools rationalization. We have to bring in effective and efficient tools which are completely focused on extracting and recording data. And then we have to streamline all these set of procedures and the improvement stages. Now, this slide is what we are talking about at different levels of strategic value creation and efficiency improvement. Let's delve into this and understand what, what it's trying to say. Analytics, it starts all from the analytic sources of value. There are two sources of value within the analytics, the strategic value creation, that is this part, and the second one is the efficiency improvement. So strategic value creation, the drivers for this are faster decision making, 
better quality decisions, capability to take proactive actions as discussed previously. What are the examples of this? In faster decision making, new analytic service model enables organization to make strategic decisions faster. When we are talking about strategic decisions, we are talking about long term dependencies. Yes. So, the complex procedure of strategic decision making is made simpler with analytics where you have a strategic approach. Then second one is model based on more frequent and accurate analysis. You are not relying on historic data, predated data, you are relying on the existing data, you are re relying on the recent data. Hence that has to be uh, there within the organization. You do not have to rely on some, some of your resources to do that. If you have automation within your organization, the data and the system itself tells you where are you currently at. The better quality decisions impact estimated using cross organizational analysis, better quantification of impact of decisions taken, companies build scenarios and analyze business impact risks for example, changing regulations impacting business landscape. What we are trying to do over here is to understand the external factors which can impact your organization. Hence, you have to cope up with such problems, with such limitations, with better quality decisions. So, as it does not hamper your existing process or condition within the organization. Capability to take proactive actions, predictive analytics techniques can be leveraged to predict or forecast customer and market behavior. So, uh, what we are trying to do is no one, I, I do not think so, no one, uh, I do not think so, any organization would have predicted uh, this pandemic what we are currently under that is COVID. If organizations would have done that, that would be under predictive analytics where they would have factored properly. The, uh, the upcoming scenario and the limitations. The conventional strategies of organizations did not survive, did not make them survive in this pandemic. We have a different set of rules, no, different set of norms, procedures and we are talking about sustainability of organizations under this pandemic. So, that is something called as proactive. So, if organizations would have taken a proactive approach to address this pandemic, they would be surviving now and there are many such companies. Amazon is one such best example which has made huge profits under this pandemic. The next level that is the sources of value efficiency improvement, how to improve your current condition or process to the next level. Capability enhancement, skills of current analysts retooled for more emphasis on problem solving and recommendations, free FTEs from low value added activities. Capability enhancement is at all levels of the organization at different departments within the organization. How do you take it to the next level? Automation as we as I had explained to you before is we are bringing in automation at each and every level of the organization reduction in effort needed to extract consolidate and clean data and produce reports. Tools rationalization is redundant or duplicate tools eliminated data extraction tools reporting tools analysis tools, the ones which are obsolete, which are outdated, you will have to remove those set of tools and bring in the updated version and finally, streamline of processes, metrics standardized, rationalized and approved by stakeholders, metrics fully documented, transparent analytics demand management process. So, what we are doing over here is all the stakeholders should have an idea what type of metrics or data is being used and their approval is mandatory and everything has to be recorded. Once we have that, we can extract the best and create a value uh, for your analytics approach. Barriers for analytics adoption is adopting analytics is a multi-step process within an organization. Talent remains a critical constraint and access to data has improved, but sharing is not always sim uh, seamless. So, these are some barriers of analytics adoption that is it is not just next day you think to start off with analytics adoption, you will have to improve your processes, you will have to bring in the right people, you will have to improve your current uh, system. So, that is very much necessary. Industry applications of analytics are location based services wherein you use your GPS applications, retail, 
uh, we punch in through the cashier while buying uh, after buying our products from any market that data is already being recorded every product has a unique barcode which uh, once scanned will give you the details of the product will give you the pricing of the product and as we move across we are also being captured so there are different sets of data being generated just by visiting a retail store manufacturing is again a very uh, very broad set of data generation department public sector the government wherein it deals with different uh, sets of services products what we get from the government are also some industry applications and healthcare the uh, the diagnosis the insurance and there are many other sets of data generation activities now role of act analytics that is how it impacts any uh, department or organization is pivotal customer events productivity agility